The Copper Belt is in mourning following the death of prominent Luansha farmer John Enright, who died in a road traffic accident on Tuesday. Over the years, he empowered farmers, small and medium scale entrepreneurs with new farming methods and training them in modern agricultural methods. Take a look. I'm grateful to uh, Saudi Arabia who have offered us a market for gods. Because when I gather all the gods, I collect all the gods with the help of the Ministry of uh, Livestock and Fisheries, we shall be able to sell the gods. The capital gods should be passed on to other groups of women. Therefore, the, the, their houses will remain intact. And I feel by so doing, those households will, uh, will be protected from <coughs> gender-based violence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The villagers produce the honey, Wenya and the boys process the honey. We sell it in Windsor Castle. Prince Andrew puts in his finger and assists us, and we have a market. And that is the concept of synergy, one plus one equals 10. And that is what I would, your Saudi Arabian connection for the goats. You know, we're no longer using the goats to buy wives. We're selling the goats and we're getting, we're getting, uh, she had roofing sheets and our children are going to school and we have school fees that we can pay. These are the concepts that I would like to teach. Mr. Alex Mtenda is one of the beneficiaries of the trainings that John Enright conducted for farmers here in Baruba area. 19 years ago, when Mr. Simtenda started his fish business, he only had two fish ponds. Today, he has 10, and on an annual basis, when he sells the fish, he makes a minimum of 100,000 kwacha. This shows the impact that John Enright had on farmers here in Luansha. It's a very big blow to the farming community. Because John came and uh, as an inspire, uh, he had to introduce fish farming uh, around the uh, communities here. He had also to organize the seminars to teach farmers how to raise fish. So he went further by even establishing a hatchery where he started producing omeo uh, fish, which grows much faster so that the uh, farmers could be able to raise that fish so that they can also raise the levels of income. A gentleman really wanted to empower the locals, especially the SMEs in the agriculture. He trained most of our members in beekeeping, uh, fish farming, and banana growing. Yes. So as of late, he wanted now to start training us. We were interacting in trainings towards the uh, chicken rearing. Yes. So we've really lost a man who had a vision towards the diversification of copper belt.
he decided to be staying in a bush, in a farm. He had about 1,000 hectares, but because of his art and the love for the community, he decided to give about 400 hectares to the local community. To me, this kind of leadership, we need to emulate him. In the